Kelsey coming at you live from the Hallett Halls of Briarwood High. And are these kids hey, fabulous kids. or what? Huh? This is the best high school I've ever seen. I mean that. Okay, coming up next hour, we've got more classic rock and roll. We've got the Doors, the Stones, more Doors, the Eagles, and... More Doors. Hey, that's right, big guy. But first piece, you ears on this. All right. I'm convinced Kim Morrison is not dead. He's program director of Classic Rock 108. Talk about your moldy oldies. You know, they ought to hire us to show them how it's done. You know, that station does have its merits. Classic rock and roll giveaways. Scam the whole box, gratis. Are you kidding? There's not a song on here recorded after you were born. No, Biggie Clements. You ever heard of the uh, tape over it principle? For a second there, I thought you were a closet Carpenters fan. Hey, Dr. J. Hi, Andrew. Good, you can help me. I was hoping maybe you could help me. You opening a junkyard? No, these are most of the contents in my storage room, but not, I'm afraid, a Jensen Hoslip fibulator. What's a Jensen's Hobbs's fibulator? The one thing that isn't in my storage room. What's up? Oh, I bombed another one of Mr. Ferris's lab tests. I found lead in this chemistry sample. He said it was iron. Would you take a look? Andrew, I really don't have time to do your homework. Hey, a radio transmitter. Yeah, something I modified and threw together in my college days. I use it to communicate with students all over the country. I made friendships that have lasted to this very day. No kidding. Pen pals of the airwaves, we called ourselves. <laughs> Sometimes we could contact students as far away as Fiji, Samoa, Japan. Wow. Uh, it was wonderful, even if we could hardly understand each other. Hey, Dr. J, do you think I could borrow this? Of course, Andrew. Communicating with fellow students is, is, is a wonderful learning opportunity, as well as a thoughtful, educational, and wholesome activity. Wake up, Briar! What? This is the Digital Ice Meister blasting your face with 40 watts of pure pandemonium power. Newsflash! Backwards masking discovered on Lawrence Welk's greatest hits. Champagne bubbles played backwards is actually helped by falling and I can't get up. You heard it here first. This is the Digital Ice Meister on Gonzo Radio smashing all preconceived notions in your face and getting busy. Crank it up, jam on it, or get out of the way. Whew. Now that is what radio ought to be like. Nothing. I checked every frequency on the short wave band. This stuff doesn't transmit worth beans. So we got an audience of two. Big whip. What's up, Briar dudes? This is AC Chillzilla and another edition of Things I Don't Get. I don't get why our third period history teacher wiggles his butt when he writes on the board. Does he think it's sexy? I don't get it. Yeah, well, I don't get why Fred Flintstone keeps ordering a large side of ribs at the end of the show when he knows it's going to tip his car over. I don't get it. And I don't get people who order mushrooms on their pizza, then pick them all off. Do they think it's poisonous when combined with pepperoni? I, I don't, don't get it. I don't get it. How can two of the most happening dudes at Briarwood not hear about this killer station everyone's yammering about? I don't know. Why don't we ask them? <laughs> Very funny. The station is spinning some wicked tunes. I hear that last night they were playing the best of lubricated goat. Oh, I love that album. Man, what I wouldn't give to jam a Wolfgang von Spasm and Sweet Meats. Just tell me about it. Look at the energy in these halls. Amazing what this new station's doing. Man, we are not missing it tonight. <sighs> It's true. My sister actually does that. She picks off all the mushrooms first, but then she gives them to the dog. Hey, T, nice wiggle. <laughs> I can guarantee we won't be missing this killer new station now. It's, it's us. us. Newsflash, this just in. A government panel of highly paid people with hyphenated last names who wear expensive suits has just declared trigonometry legally useless. Yes, friends, it's true. Suspected as pointless for years, the government has officially stated that sign 
cosine, and tangent have nothing to do with reality in any way, shape, or form. And here's today's horoscope. Venus is in a line with vertigo, which means if your birthday is today, you're probably going to end up getting extremely nauseous and a bunch of things you really didn't want, like a bright purple velour sweater and a personalized Garfield nose clipper. And you'll cry yourself to sleep tonight wondering who really cares and where your little miserable life is going. Today's weather. Looking at the weather map, I see huge masses of primary colors covering most of the Briarwood Tri-County area. What does that mean for our listeners, Iceman? Well, it looks like the storms, avalanches, earthquakes, and swarm of killer bees that I predicted yesterday will be missing us, instead moving south and utterly destroying the Briarwood cafeteria. Great news! And now it's time for Briarwood's favorite game show, Rat. Yes, it's the one-only show where you get to call us up and rat on your friends, share embarrassing secrets about you and your loved ones, win cheap, chintzy prizes. Anyone can play. Embarrass your neighbors. It's fun. Hey, Dr. J, is there any way to give the automodulator more juice? Andrew, I'm glad you're here. Remember the water sample you gave me from your chemistry class? Well, I analyzed it several times. Guess I blew it after all, huh? I wish that were the case. Unfortunately, you were right. Thanks for being so thrilled in my moment of triumph. I hate to rain on your parade, but your discovery proves that the school's drinking water is contaminated with lead. What? That's serious. Dr. J, you gotta tell someone. Exactly. So I called the area superintendent. He told me they did their own tests, and the content of lead in the water is below the danger level. Well, then it's okay. Not really. According to my calculations, until they replace the pipes, the lead level in the water could be rising by the minute. And in other schools, too. So you need water samples from all the schools? No way to get them. Not a problem. You just gotta know who to talk to. And how to talk to them. Yo! And hello! And what's up, Funk Mom? This is the Ice Meister, Freak of the Airwaves, on the one, the only, Gonzo Radio 90. In your face and getting busy. Yes, friends, we're not afraid. On today's edition of What Gives, we boldly tackle the burning question, what does a gym teacher do anyway? Yeah, Meredith's residence. Ah, Coach Meredith. Gonzo Radio here. Can you tell me what you're doing at this very moment? Watch him bowling for dollars. Uh, hello? Just as I suspected, friends. Who is this? A meaningless, miserable life punctuated by the sadistic joy of inflicting untold physical demands on unsuspecting students. Thanks for your time, Mr. Meredith. Okay, everybody, listen up. Chillzilla here, getting serious for a second. This just in from Gonzo Radio's own science expert, Dr. Technomatic. There's a major nasties going down that affects us all, and we need your help. Without you getting involved, we don't stand a chance. Let's what on earth Gonzo is that? Here's a scoop. Gonzo Radio, sir. Do you enjoy listening to that mindless pap? No, sir, I hate it. Then why are you listening to it? To, to see how stupid they can get, sir. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. My show actually dropped 30% in the 14 to 24 age bracket in one lousy week. You're one of the reasons why. Yes, sir. Shall I, shall I stop listening to it, sir? If you were my sister's kid, you know... Oh, never mind. Just, uh, give me the number of the Federal Broadcast Commission. Got a little information to pass on to our federal friends. Yeah. Yo, Gonzo Radio, in your face and getting busy with the lewd and loud listener mail assault. Chillzilla, the assault theme, please. I got a letter here delivered to our secret box number 0010. Oops, no more secret. It's from a... Hey, no signature. Lipstick only. And perfumed. Who? Whoever you are, I think I love you. Marry me. Or is that Russian? Got an opinion? We're ripping open the gonzo line. And today's topic is... What is today's topic? Yell, scream, rant, rage. We love it. Ah! 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 <laughs> hey, check this out. The Federal Broadcasting Commission. This is it. This is official recognition. You probably want to give us an award for lighting up the airways or something. Oh, my God. What? This is not good. What? This office has received a report concerning the unlicensed operation of radio transmitting apparatus by you. 
blah, blah, blah. This is subject to serious penalties, including a maximum fine of $10,000 when you're in prison. Or both. What would you say if I were to tell you I knew a way we could keep on broadcasting? I'd say you were a brainless boob. Listen. My cousin Bill's van is still in my mom's driveway with nowhere to go until he comes back from out west. All we have to do No way, pal. No way. We go mobile. They can't track us. Kirk, let me try and explain something. This is the federal government we're talking about. Right. And who did they address the letter to? The station manager. Right. Not to us by name. That means they don't know who we are. Okay, okay, so we didn't know about a license. Look around the school. Everybody's hopping because they finally have a radio station that matters to them. That'll be a big comfort when I'm ironing shirts in the prison laundry. What about the water? You saw the response. Dr. J might be able to do something because of Gonzo Radio. Come on, Andrew. Yeah, I hear you. Andrew, I can't believe the number of samples I've received and, and from so many sources. How did you do it? Word of mouth and your radio. Ah, uh, yes. Pen pals of the airwaves. <laughs> kind of becomes like a family, doesn't it? Now, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Well, Dr. J, what do you think of systems and rules? Systems and rules? Like society systems and rules. Well, as in science, systems and rules are there for a reason. So you would never go against the system? I'm not saying that. You're not? Well, history teaches us, as often as not, progress comes from healthy rebellion. Even science has had its revolutionaries. Darwin, Freud. If Copernicus hadn't bucked the system, we'd all still believe the world was flat. The system is not always right. Like the school system burying a potentially dangerous problem. Exactly, but with your ham radio, we're doing something about it. Thanks, Dr. J. Thanks a lot. Guns on radio, in your face and back with a vengeance. Tired of those troublesome zits and blackheads? Put your head in an accordion and squeeze! Rotten little vermin. Still in the air, huh? Well, nobody does that to crazy Ken Kelsey and gets away with it. No. Hey, lubricated goat. I know you are, but what am I? They want to meet us. They heard about us, and they want to do an exclusive on-air interview. Can you believe it? These guys are total recluses. Me, the Ice Meister hanging with Wolfgang von Spasm and Sweetmeats. This is intense. Where, when? This weekend. It's all in the letter. Come on, it's time for some heavy-duty promotion. Yo, Briar Dudes, hope you're all sitting down, because we got a scoop for you. Ben, the public has got to know. Well, the newspapers investigated. They got the same readings as the school department. Oh, great. Then they'll have all those sick kids to write about. Why don't you try calling Classic Rock 108? they do a story like this. I tried that. They're too busy. They're putting together a Doors retrospective. There's got to be some way. Andrew, what about that new station that Aaron's been raving about? You know, what, what is it called? Garbanzo Radio. Ah, uh, that's Gonzo, Mom. Yeah, that's it. It's no use. An underground operation would take a miracle to find them. Dr. J? <sighs> Welcome to Miracles R Us. <laughs> Draw the pirate radio station. Arbity, you ever been to sea? Don't get excited, Dr. J. Remember Copernicus. <sighs> I only meant that... Don't worry, we've been operating out of the van to avoid detection by the Broadcast Commission. They know about you? No. I mean, they don't know who we are. They only sent one letter. What are you expecting, Christmas cards? One letter is a single step from pounding out license plates. But this is how we got all your water samples. Progress comes from healthy rebellion, remember? <sighs> Do you promise that after the broadcast, you will sign off for good? Okay. Let's do it. Great. Kirk's doing this hot interview with Lubricated Coat. Everybody will be listening. You'll go on right after them. You got an interview with Wolfgang von Spasm and Sweetmeats? Yeah.
Kirk, would you mind slowing down? Can't take a chance on missing the interview. What is this place? Boy, talk about deserted. They're artists. They prefer empty places where they aren't attacked by their fans or... The, the feds! How do you know? That antenna. It's a transmitter detection device. Doc, you've seen too many spy movies. It's a Jeffco transmission detector. Hit it, Kirk! Fried. Oh my god. It's jail. I hate jail. I look terrible in stripes. Keep him busy for a minute. I have an idea. Well, obviously we all missed the on ramp to the highway. they'd mark these streets better. Myers, Federal Broadcast Commission. You the guy I talked to about all the static on AM? Smart guy, huh? Which one are you, Godzilla or the mice slicer? <laughs> well, obviously you've mistaken us for someone else. So if you'll just move your vehicles, we'll be on our way. Not so fast. We know who you are. <sighs> okay. We can't keep the charade up any longer. I'm Bob Costas. Writing the color commentary, my partner Joe Graziola. Well, thanks, Bob. It's a beautiful sunny day here at the ballpark, folks. Yeah, but it's starting to cloud up pretty fast. Check it out. There has to be a transmitter there somewhere. Well, if you're through with this, uh... sit tight. Check it again. It's got to be there. Hey, hey, hey! This is Jill Zilla kicking the bass in your face for the last time. Bad news, dudes. Due to technical difficulties, we won't be able to bring you lubricated goat as promised. 
promised. Signal's about a mile down the road. Come on. Well, only not available this time. So, uh, I, I guess you'd be through with us then, would you? Sorry for the inconvenience! We've been dished by the feds, so Gonzo's hanging up its microphone for good. There, there, no tears. It was good while it lasted. I want to thank you all for your cards, your calls, your support. You made it happen. On behalf of the Digital Ice Meister, this is AC Chilzilla in your face and out of business. For good. But may the spirit of Gonzo rule on! Yes. Pull over. That's the end of them. You should have seen it, Dr. J. Everybody brown bagged it again today. Administration finally got the point. <laughs> Thank God it's over, though. I miss those cafeteria fries. I was going through some serious grease control. Ah, but you did it for a good cause, Kirk. Just proves the value of peaceful demonstration. Also, the power of Gonzo Radio. Ah, uh, too bad it had to come to an end. Wrong, Osage One. We were such a hit, schools allowed us to run our own station. Tonight, the Digital Ice Meister and AC Chillzilla will be in your face and getting busy. <laughs> With the help of Dr. Technomatic. Never heard of him. Too bad. You're on at six. Ah. Gotcha.